I see. And I heard that uh, they got your your student group and your business also got nominated for the uh, national award, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. Hopefully they win it. Yeah, hopefully that's exciting. <laughs> and how are these student recommendations going to help you achieve your goals? Yep. So I was actually impressed by the, the uh, presentation that they made to me, um, as well as the report that they provided. Um, so they presented to me some about three well-crafted templates to help us make better decisions, run meetings more effectively in our organization, as well as help me define job roles within the company so that people know what they do and know what they expect, which is important that going back to that decision-making process, that they know what decisions they can make and which ones they can't. Um, they also helped me create a new vision statement and, and, and a mission statement for the company, which we've uh, wordsmithed a little bit more within internally, and we've actually implemented it uh, within the business. Um, and since then, we've actually also implemented a new bonus program that helps to give feedback to the employees and, and shared goals based on those vision and values that they helped me create. Uh, that's a lot right there. I mean, how much work can you ask for, right? Yeah, it was a, it was a good experience. That's pretty cool. And and talking about these bonuses a little bit. Uh, so, how does that work for you guys now? Is it monetary bonus, or is that kind of how it's working? Yeah. So for us, the the bonus program is more of a M MBO program, a management by objective program, where we've been working actually since the beginning of the year to set this year's goals. Um, but making sure that the whole company knows that we have different pillars of growth that we need um, and then rewarding the entire company as a whole at the end. So it's less of a bonus program per se in that individuals get different bonuses for hitting different, different uh, thresholds, but it's a bonus program where the company itself has to succeed and then we will all get rewarded at the end of the year. And you said you've already started to implement that? Yeah, yeah, we've started uh, with our with our small group that's that's in charge of the cultural change. Um, we've started developing those goals, and in fact, right before this meeting, I was in a call with them, um, finalizing that so we can start to push those concepts out to the the greater company, um, so that we can um, move forward with with awarding those bonuses. Hopefully, at the end of the year, if we hit our goals. Nice. I mean, talk about incentive right there, right? For everybody to do better and stuff. Yep. Because I, I truly believe that, you know, we live in a different world than, you know, even 10, 15 years ago in that uh, people are really motivated by what can we do as a group, but also you don't want to have individuals in the organization that are getting rewarded for different things that they might be maybe hurting or injuring a, a different uh, part of the organization. Good point. Uh, and it's an almost, it almost seems like you're kind of taking away from that hierarchy system that usually goes on a little bit, right? Yep. That's exactly what our objective is, is we want to, as much as we can get rid of that hierarchy. And one of the things in intention-based leadership is actually everyone in the company is on a rung of a ladder. Um, and so you have to know where all the employees are um, in, their, in their journey, but it's not necessary, necessarily where they are um, physically in the, in the company, you know, are they a low level employee or a management um, level employee, but it really has to do with what their skill sets are. And then you can release um, responsibility to them based on, you know, how they're able to make those decisions.